Okay, welcome to Rich Windsor's uh, door and curved wall video. Someone asked about how do you put a door on a curved wall? And I don't know how to do it. But Rich Win Windsor came up with a, a method, and I'm just going to do a video on it. He showed, showed us how to do it in six easy steps. I'm going to take 10 minutes to show it on a video. video. Here it is, first step. You got a round, round wall right there. You put another horizontal wall right there, right? Piece of cake. Then he slid this wall into the, uh, the, uh, curved wall. Then he put the door in. And I think at this point, what he did was he, I think he breaks the curved walls, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Ugh, ugh. I think he did. And then he starts, and then he starts, I don't know what he does. And then I think he starts sliding the horizontal wall closer and closer till it meets here, and then at some point he does a, uh, a wall fix, a wall fix, and there he is. And that's pretty darn, in my mind, that's pretty darn good. That's it. So, I mean, if I was to look at his steps, here's his steps. Draw the circular room with curved exterior. Okay. Uh, and then he moves a straight wall inside the curved wall. Puts the door in the straight wall. Now he uses the break wall tool to break the curved wall on either side of the door opening. He breaks the curved wall. He doesn't break the straight wall. He breaks the curved wall. Now he deletes the curved portion of the wall in the doorway. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you take the straight wall and you click connect walls. So now that you click, once you get rid of the curved portion, now you click, click on the connect walls. Select the, the straight wall, click on connect walls, and now you click the curved wall. So I guess you have to, Select the wall, connect wall tool, and then click curved wall so it knows which one you're going to, and the, mer mer the walls will merge. Finally, you can select the straight wall and drag it close to the edge of the curved wall. That's how he did it. So here, here I'm, I'm, I'm starting it right now, uh, by the way. Uh, for you guys that don't know how to do this, uh, you, you do a straight wall, uh, I mean a curved wall, and you go like this and like this. And if you know anything about curved walls, you know you can't have a fully on full on curved wall. You got to break it. It has to be two walls. Let's see. I'm going to show you what happens. Uh, that worked pretty good. Now you got to break it. Uh, BH to break. And now you drag this wall. You can't drag the whole thing around. You have to have two separate walls, just so you know. And now just because I'm a neat freak, I do that. Okay. So now that that's, that's this curved wall he's got, right? Now he says, build a straight wall. Uh, straight, straight wall, uh, straight interior wall. That's what I'm working with. Straight interior wall. He says, drag it like this. Now he says, take this thing and he says, push it over. Okay, I get it. I got it. Now he says, put a door in there, uh, DH, and uh, put a double door in there. Let's make it a UU six foot, five foot, 60 inches, something like that. And let's center it on, uh, oops, cancel. Now let's center it. Let's center it right there, just because I want to. Now, uh, see what he's got there? He's got, I, I did what he said, and now I've got three different walls, but he wants the straight wall to be continuous. So I think what he's going to say is a, a break. Ah, uh, now I broke the curved wall. I break the curved wall. And I'm going to make this, this is what he wants, there, okay? Ah, now what he's going to say is, did I break the curve? Yeah, break, now he says, break the curve wall, okay? Oh, by the way, let's go ahead and do something here. W-A. That is where that horizontal wall should come into. That's that, that's like the perfect spot. But, of course, we I don't think it's going to, well, we'll see what happens. So that's really where that wall should be. Now, since we broke this curve wall, I can now break this curve wall, right? Now, this is the tricky part. What does he say on this? Oh, oh. oh, let's see. Delete the curved portion of the wall. That's what I just did. I just did this right there. Delete the curved portion of the wall. Now he says, select the straight wall, click connect walls, and click on the curved wall. The walls will merge. I've never used the connect walls tool, ever. So I'm going to learn something here. So he says, select the straight wall. I think this is P Perry's tool. 
at all layer intersections. No, I don't think that's what he's talking about. I think his, I think he's talking about. Well, I got fixed wall connections, and Perry talks about what's this? Edit wall layer intersections. Now he's got something else up. What does he say? Connect walls. Where's the connect wall tool? I don't even know if I need it. Is that connect walls? Well, I forgot. That's fixed. That's. Hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Back again. I think what I did is I pressed the help button, connect wall. There it is. Six fixed wall connections. That's what I was going to use. Now, Perry, Perry, I think there's two different tools. I'm not sure if they're different. I said connect wall. He says fixed wall connections. Same thing. That's kind of cool. Isn't it? That little arrow that they show. I've never seen that before. So I, I typed in for connect wall in the help menu. It says fixed wall connections. Perry's talking about, I don't know what Terry Perry's talking about. I never know what he's talking about. Right there. He says edit wall intersections. I don't know. I'm going to do what our guy says. I'm going to do what Rich Windsor says. So he says this, then fix wall connections. Is that what he did? I mean, what, what the, I don't know what the heck I, I just did. Did I do anything? I, I don't even know. I, I, I don't know what I did. But anyway, so now he's going to tell me to drag this down like this. Okay? There you go. Ah, now, now look, look where it's at right now. Now you can see where, see those two lines right there. That's where the wall should be, but we know it's not going to be there because you got to, you got to. That's pretty darn good, man. That's pretty good. Suppose I go another inch down. Oh, check that out. Check out what just happened. Control Z. Now that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, let's just see if I have rooms here. Let's just see if I have rooms. I think, I, I think he did it, really. I got a nice clean room there. I got a nice clean room here. Nice. So I did it. I did what he said. I didn't get the fixed wall connection tool. I didn't. That didn't do anything for me. I didn't get it. Suppose I looked at it on the inside. Suppose I put a window, uh, WW. Suppose I, suppose I put a huge window here. UU six foot. Six foot high. Six foot and make it a fixed glass window. I'm done. Control C, Control V, stick it right there. Uh, w, W, put one right there. I'm, I'm, I'm getting to something, believe it or not. Uh, you, you, six foot, six foot high, six foot, and it's a fixed glass. I just want to see in and out. That's all I want to do. Control C, Control V. Now I'm going to put a Control C, Control V, put one right there. Control V. So now let's just see what it looks like on the inside, uh, uh, HJ. Pretty darn clean, man. Check that out. I mean, I could fix. Look, just so you know, just uh, you, you, you can uh, uh, let's see if I can figure this out. Oh, radial curb, curb casing, not straight. I want it to be radial. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Okay. Now, now it's now it's curved. It curves into the wall, right? And I got this. I forget what I got there. I got the. It's probably a sill or something. I, I don't know. But I, I'm not gonna. But this is really nice. Let's look at uh, vector view HV. Now, I got a, I got a break right here. I don't know why I have a break right there. W. Let's look at the other way. H J. This way. Uh, H vector. I just thought that line right there, don't I? Well, I think he did it. Oh, let's see. U uh, U. Let's just get rid of the casing. Let's just see if I can clean this up. I don't want a uh, casing. I don't want a. Uh... You know, I don't do enough of this stuff. Oh, so get rid of so to really. No, wrap, no, use exterior, use interior, uh, oh, the apron, wrap, I don't know what I did, time we're up, I'm going to do part two in a second, uh, you, oh, the frame, am I missing something here, does the frame not curve, you get what I'm saying, uh, W, uh, LHG, I know the frame curves. I I knew. I, 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 I say I said, well, I know for a fact it, it curves. You, you. 
on the smoke. That's a key you let's see if I can do it. And now I'm gonna go, go to part two. I think you got this thing. Yeah, you casing. Uh, parallel? No. I don't know what parallel did. Uh, casing. Radial. If it's straight, this is what's gonna happen. That's the casing straight. So I know I know I don't want the casing straight. So I come over here to casing. Uh, radio casing. Uh, that's what I want. It's the frame that I'm confused about now. Uh, F6. I should know this. I'll say, I'll say, well, I should know this. Open that window and uh, I'm going to put a pause. Let me see if I can figure it out. I think I just found it. I think I just found it. Sash. Is the sash curved or straight? I want it to be curved. That's what it was. And I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Uh, I look at the wrong window. I'm looking at the wrong window. Here it is over here. Yeah, curved. It's a sash. Yeah, I don't do much of this. I mean, how often do you put a curved window? Who can afford them? Yeah, there it is. Curved. You got to curve this case. Uh, you got to radial the uh, casing and curve the sash. Anyway, that's it. And and uh, Rich Windsor, thank you so much. Uh, that was really super. I'm going to go on and do a few other things in, uh, in part two to just experiment a little bit more with uh, what Rich Windsor has uh, taught me. End of uh, part one. End of part one.